everybody. Hey, how's everybody? It is cousins for life. It's your cousins. <laughs> and look, we have a guest. Yes, we do. We have a beautiful guest. Miss Nicole Wagner. Uh, yes, ma'am. Doctor. 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 Wait a minute. Sir. Hold up. <laughs> Thank you. She earned that. Okay. She earned That's it. Indeed. Yes. <laughs> but she's very she she is a beautiful person. And so we're we're playing around with the doctor, but she earned that doctor degree. So she we want to make sure we give her that. Give her her All problem. right. <laughs> so Lee, what's been what's been going on? What's been going on? You gotta tell me kind of what's been going on. I got a bunch of stuff going on in my personal life, but let's just talk about what's going on here in Jersey, okay? Jersey, the people have lost their minds. They all what happened? Silly. They ain't nobody want to wear no mask. <laughs> they, they just doing whatever they want. And two, people are not don't want to go to work. Well, they can make more staying at home. <laughs> they don't want to go to work. And what's happening is it's causing businesses and business owners, they having a hard time. Some people are they're getting jobs, but they can't fulfill the task they can't follow through because they don't have people mm -hmm. to help do it. it's something as simple as pool opening and closing you know you call a guy he come open your pool okay i'll be there next week you know he right. got to back and tell you i'm um, sorry i'm so sorry but i have to reschedule you not for thursday but for next thursday what mm -hmm. well oh, simple things like opening your pool i mean if the guy you need just stairs fix he can't fix the stairs because he can't get, get no workers and he's paying people at like ten dollars an hour. Okay? Wow. wow! Which wow. is about the same thing they getting with that extra money at home with unemployment. But if you can get free money, <laughs> if you can stay home, if and you get can, the same thing. <laughs> if you can, if that's what, what about you the can servers? Do. All the restaurants are open, but they are short servers. Hmm. Servers don't make a lot of money. They live on their tips, okay? Right. They make more money sitting at home. Well, Dr. Wagner, I'm going to go on and 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 introduce you because I want to know what's going on where you are, okay? <laughs> so, Dr. Nicole P. Wagner is a behavioral health professional and works full-time in the behavioral health specialist department as and management. She's at North West Hospital, and I'm sorry, I got my, uh, y'all can forgive me, I got my little phone on as well. Um, North Side, Northwest Hospital, and Grace Medical Center as well. She focuses on individuals suffering from both mental health disorders and disease of addiction. Dr. Nicole partners with Baltimore City Mayor's Office with the AIDS Prevention. She also um, is the CEO and founder of Three Star Purpose, which focuses on total wellness of females, mind, body, and spirit. She's a curvy model. She's an actress. She, she has a lot of films, urban films and so forth that she's in. So look her up, guys. Look her up. Look her up. The Zeta Phi Beta Seniority Incorporated member. And she also is a speaker against childhood sexual abuse. Dr. Nicole, she has won the Humilitarian Award. She also was runner up of the Miss Full Figured DMV pageant. She ministers and inspires and empowers females teaching the importance of self-love, individual body acceptance, while being the priority of your own body type. So let's give a round of applause and a hello, hello, welcome to Dr. Wagner. Dr. Wagner, tell us a little bit more about what you do, please, and what's going on in the city of Baltimore. What's going on? Uh, well, Baltimore, oddly enough, other than the recent incident down at Fells Point where it started out, people just had having a nice get together, but then a fight broke out. Um, mm -hmm. There was a shooting. Other than that, I'm happy and pleased to say that people are being responsible for um, social distancing, wearing their mask. I have not 
seen or had a lot of instances where people are putting themselves or anyone else at risk. So it's been for me, far as what I'm saying, it's okay. been okay here in Baltimore. Okay. I was attacked today by a cicada. It was like in my hair when I was coming out of work to get in my car and I literally screamed and I think I sprained my ankle because I almost oh, no. fell because <laughs> trying to get the cicada out my hair, smacked it in my car. And then I had to run around my car and someone had to come and get it out of the car. So. Wow. Yeah. You're in the DC area. You're in the DC area? No, I'm in Baltimore, but I'm not far from DC. I'm like maybe 30, 35 minutes okay. in driving. That because I have some friends and they said the cicadas are taking over in DC. Yes. Oh yeah, these cicadas, they're they're bullies. It's like a gang. They're they're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're horrible. Yeah. Um, but now, I, I left I left a couple of things out on purpose, but we're gonna get to those things. As far as one particular um, avenue that I wanted to tell everybody about, but we'll get to that part. Um, anything else you want to share? I want to know more about the um, what you do at the health as a health specialist, the behavior health specialist. So as a behavior health specialist, um, as you said, I deal with individuals duly diagnosed suffering from mental health disorders as well as alcoholism and substance abuse. I've been in this field for approximately 20, going on 21 years. Um, I transitioned wow. from the healthcare field. I used to be an EMT working on an ambulance. Um, and what, what I love most about being a behavior health professional is that I love how God has strategically aligned everything that I'm doing from acting, modeling and everything, because it's truly a ministry within mm -hmm. itself. When you think about uplifting, not just women, but just people in general that are, for whatever reason, at a dark point in his or her life. Um, so in empowering individuals, you know, if you're paying attention to the news, there's been a lot of fentanyl you know, deaths and or overdoses so far as Northwest Sinai ED, Sinai's OB, as well as formerly known as Bon Secours, now called Grace Medical Center. I am the manager over the substance abuse and overdose department. And we work directly with the Baltimore City Mayor's office in lowering the number of opioid crisis and deaths, as well as raising awareness for individuals because that's high risk behavior, obviously. Um, teaching them the importance of using contraceptives. If you're going to do what you're going to do, um, not exchanging and reusing the needles, they can actually go to our van, exchange the needles out for clean um, needles to use, which lowers the potential of that individual transferring and or contracting HIV and or hepatitis. Mm. Um, Grace Medical has been awarded the level three, which is the first and the highest level that you can get for being able to be successful in lowering the number of overdoses and or deaths in the geographical area. So it's broken down in zip code. So 21215, 21223. And to look up 21223 and for all of my Baltimoreans, you know that that is a high geographical area for drug, active drug use and sexually transmitted diseases. So to be able to bring that number down was rewarding for me because that meant that myself and my team was doing something right in our creative way of engaging the individuals that constantly at that particular time was populating in the ED department repeatedly. Amen. Nice. So you're, you're quite busy and quite helpful. <laughs> I, I am busy. And you know, one of my team members today, she was like, it's only 24 hours in a day, Dr. Nicole. How do you I do know. All stuff that you do? So, but it gets done because again, as I said earlier, everything is directly related one to another. So, Well, you know, Dr. Dr. White, I'm so glad that you came to join Lee and I. Um, you know, I was looking at something on social media oh. and they said, it said that men, majority of men, uh, prefer a size 14, 15, 12, a 12, a size 12, prefers a size 12. And that's what they find the most sexy, a size 12. Now, who are they getting this, these statistics from? They did not say, but mm. what is well, your view of from Africa? I know. So what is your opinion and then Lee's opinion on the fact that they're saying in the U.S. now, 
and it's supposed to be statistical that majority of the women they of a woman they started at size six and they went to 16 and they prefer overall a woman size 12. What well, is your, what's your thoughts on that? So that's, that's funny. Um, so first, let me say this for all of the viewers. Um, what I I know personally about statistics, because I had to do that for my PhD, is mm -hmm. that whatever outcome you want or you need, that mm -hmm. is the population in which you, you purposely for. select to do your study. So I am just going to hypothesize and say that they selected men whom they gave a questionnaire or a survey to mm -hmm. that said, this is the size range of women mm -hmm. that I like. So, of course, the prediction of their outcome was going to be what it was, but it it is up to the individual. And I'm a very optimistic person. So although we all, even women, we have our preferred preference of men and or mm -hmm. women that we like. But I'm also a firm believer that opposites attract, and, you know, and that just segues right into y'all topic tonight is that it's much to be said for being confident, authentically confident, not like you're putting on a facade, but it's men can, a true man, a mature man cannot resist an authentic confident woman and it is really not about so i don't know where they did that study yet shame on y'all well, this is the thing of shame <laughs> i would like to beg to differ with you there are a lot of men who cannot handle a confident woman there now what do you mean i can't handle not, they cannot handle a confident woman and they do not i was told okay in my single stage by someone very close to me my god brother said to me i wanted to know what was wrong with me why was i mm -hmm. so long you know what he told mm -hmm. me you got too much together. He said, you, okay. got too much, you got too much going for you. You're confident. You look good. You're handling your business. He said, you're too independent. I was like. So you're saying you're sexy. You're sexy, what? which is confidence is a part of sexiness, if you exactly. ask me, was it's too so, much. It's, that's right. So it really is to each his own. Now, the right. question was about, you know, it being a size 12. Well, they say that size 12, 14 is average. Mm -hmm. okay. which um, is not true, <laughs> okay? And it definitely isn't true for if it's sexy or not, okay? Correct. Because, I'll say it again, to each his own. Different people like different things. Most mm -hmm. men like a little meat on their bones, <laughs> okay? Right. Mm -hmm. Now, I heard Steve Harvey say something years ago about 20 years ago when he first started his radio show he wasn't he was um in the, getting a divorce and he said that he likes a size eight woman a woman that wears a size eight he likes mm. them short and he likes mm. them petite that's what he said mm -hmm. okay now i looked at his history and all of his wives have been short and petite. <laughs> you know, that, that's what he likes he finds mm -hmm. that sexy Okay, we're on the other hand, I'm not short nor am I petite. Okay, mm -hmm. but oh, trust and believe someone has found me sexy. Okay, right. And the same, Daphne is not short and she is not petite, but she has, and a, I am definitely sex sexy. She has a <laughs> sex <appeal laughs> yes, you, you know, that so it really depends on who it is. Some men find obese. When I say obese, I mean women that are, they want a 400, 500 pound woman. Mm -hmm. They think that's sexy. Okay. So so the, the, the article I read, it came from Flirty Savvy. Um, and I, that's where I got that information. And they, they categorized the size of women that they preferred overall. And I'm just amazed. First place was a yoga body. Um, they had places. Um, then they had an hourglass body. Then they had a pear, pear shaped apple and then triangle body. They even broke that down into body shapes. I'm just amazed because Victoria's Secret well, everybody know Victoria, and we always are buying stuff from Victoria's Secrets. They publicize majority. Now, they do have, like, I think, um, what's her name? Is it Nicole or Ash Ashley Graham? They did have Ashley Graham, I think, one time or so, maybe do a couple of things. I'm not exactly 100% sure. But most of the time, their models are slim women. And Tyra so Banks was their first full figure model. Right. And, and, she, she, and, she's and she's probably she probably like a 10. She she's probably like a 10. But she shared because she has hips, she has natural curves, she has booty, obviously. 
um, she shared that she went under a lot of criticism and yeah. because she's a very humble and modest woman, no mm -hmm. one would even know that if you're not following her, but for her, the challenge was to overcome all of those stereotypes and still push forward. And then her mom was very, very, you know, supportive of her. But mm -hmm. what I find ironic is that we, and by we meaning us women, we allow ourselves to subscribe to this negative channel. I, I strongly believe that men like what they like. Yes, you have your preference, That's but you never know the wind, the weather can be this way today. And then tomorrow mm -hmm. is that way. It's all about one, his maturity to mm -hmm. the woman that he is drawn to. As you said, Lee, mm -hmm. they like what they like. And I have gotten to a point in my life where I'm not trying to change what you like. It, that's like, mm -hmm. I don't like asparagus, so please don't put it on my plate. And if you put it on my plate, I'm not going to eat it. And my whole point to that is just because you serve confidence and sexy to someone in any package that it comes in, do not mean that that individual have to accept it, welcome mm -hmm. it, it's or true. even or even agree with you. And that's why it is so important, so essential for us as women as a whole to have our own individual self-awareness because, and it's funny that you spoke on Victoria's Secret because there was an ad back in, um, Back in 2010, I believe, mm -hmm. where the mm -hmm. plus size model, she she was giving them life with that lingerie mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they pulled it. They they felt. Oh, yeah. They did. With, oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. With they did. The, that. Was, oh, she's too sex, too sexy. And then they put a whole mm -hmm. sexual connotation to it. You know, and my thing with that is, is that people need to stop being critical and hypocrites because if Ashley Stewart can walk down a runway model with Usher or anybody else singing hyped up music and we're applauding and we're buying it and we're like, oh, that looks good. And she has on a G string. What's sexual and inappropriate about a plus size woman? The only difference is, is that one, this woman has more meat on her body. She has more curves and she's adding more life and emphasis to the garment that she has on. And you know what, on the flip well, side, um, when it comes to men, when it comes to men, us visualizing men, we're not as particular when it comes to a certain size. We're not, right. we're not as particular. Right. Okay. And so Thank our visual there. sexiness comes a little bit different. And so, can y'all flip it a little bit, Lee? Can you tell me, like, what's sexy to you in a male? Does I'm sexy tell you the, right now. the size matter? Listen, and I ain't talking about so certain it. things. Oh, don't certain say it. <laughs> Not certain size things, but things. Certain so do they matter? Okay. <laughs> okay. For me, okay. For me, I'm talking about me, Alicia. Right. <laughs> um, you said that we're not as particular. I'm very particular. I always have been. I'm talking about when I say particular, now make sure you understand what I mean. Listen. I'm talking okay. about we don't just say skinny. I got to have a, a big man. I got to have a, we don't do that too often. Go ahead. How often, how long have you known me? <laughs> how Go ahead. Talk, talk to me. Talk to me. One, your two, three. entire life. How many, <laughs> how many skinny or thin men have you ever seen me with? How many not short skinny. men have you seen not me skinny. with? Not mm skinny. -mm, okay. Definitely not. I mm -hmm. definitely have a type, and that is just, mm -hmm. I don't find it um, attractive. I, I, I'm just not into the tall, thin guy. I, you know, like a, you know, a hefty man. <laughs> <laughs> I need somebody that can scoop me up, because I ain't no little girl. <laughs> I need somebody, you know, that can handle my body weight, that can, you know, I fall, I need them to be able to scoop me up and, you know, <laughs> keep it moving. So, in answer to your question, yes. Size so, does matter. so size matters to you now. Now, okay. So now we got a little controversy, Doctor Wagner. Okay, we're saying that sexy should not have serve a size for us, but is it serving a size as far as when men looking at us? Is it serving a size for us looking at men then? So, well, I agree that whether you're a male or female, um, I don't do the teetering offense. Either way people should not body shame and you should accept people where they are and you 
definitely have the right to like what you like. Lee has a preference and she's made her mind up. She's not going to deviate from that. What I would say is I have a preference as well. I like my men thick and husky because I'm like Lee. I, Hello. I, I do the, like I'm real theatrical about things. I, I want to be picked up sometimes. Come on. I this is saying that in a movie. But I also know is that there are some skinny men that just because they skinny don't sleep on Don't them. mean that they can't pick you up, but that's just exactly. my life. Okay. As, as I heard that. So, so it's about people being receptive to differences and not getting caught up into the trend of what's going on. You know, that the same way you have that men that look for that look for women that their homeboys will accept, you have women that look for men that their homegirls will accept. So it's a twofold and we just have to mentally and confidently mature. And that that's a, and I can't stress that enough when you become mentally as well as physically and spiritually mature, you find that the things you place value and energy in really should have never even been, been at the top of your list because it has no value. Okay, so let's get back to the topic. Is it sexy? And what we feel is sexy. That, 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 things that, it's you it's know, about what you feel is sexy. It's about what you individual you think is sexy. So with like, all right, there are some men, okay, they like legs. Some mm -hmm. men, you know. Well, well see, y'all talking about what, like, wait, wait, I'm sorry, guys. You're talking about what they like. We know everybody likes and more that's what they think attributes. is sexy. That's what they think is sexy. Now, I'm going to tell you something, something that I don't think is sexy. I don't think these girls walk around these leggings, okay? <gasps> it's sheer, okay? They think it's sexy, okay? But that's... That's cool. That We're sexy. talking about body form, body weight, body. So, um, in regards to the physical realm of what the individual woman feel is sexy, what, what men receive as sexy for as a woman's body type, what society mm -hmm. may think is physically yeah. sexy for a woman. And, and I'll go back to the Victoria's Secret versus mm -hmm. the whole Lane Bryant ad back in. 2010 nobody says anything to the smaller woman you know that is walking in lingerie and you see the same things that you see when a plus when that plus size woman from lane well, Bryant you know was why. walking in lingerie but and it, and and the reality is i want people to stop desensitizing themselves and just say what it is and have these open dialogue because she was a plus size woman Absolutely. it became an issue and they put a sexual condensation to it and that's unfair to that model number one that's unfair to her yeah. because you don't know men like what they like you have some women, some men that do prefer to see a more curvy woman in it. Mm -hmm. And being a plus size model, I don't know if Daphne, you have encountered it. Like I used to really have my feathers ruffled when I would be walking in fashion shows and I would be introduced like this and welcome into the stage, the plus size model. Oh no. Nobody ever says- It's like saying, welcome the African-American model. You know, we, we, you know what? This is the thing. Okay, the reason why they don't um, make a big deal out of the thin models, I'm going to say the mm -hmm. thinner, is because the models are to wear the garment. They're Absolutely. The garment, okay. So Absolutely. The garment, it takes away from the garment when the woman is um, so-called more voluptuous and called. Well, who say? Only so who say it takes away from the garment? Listen to what I'm saying. Okay, <laughs> this is the perception. And oh, correct. This is the perception, okay. and the perception mm -hmm. of a full-figured woman. I'm going to say full-figured, just a voluptuous woman, a mm -hmm. sexy woman, takes the eye away from the garment. You know, and they're looking at the woman. That's why mm. the the commercials. Okay, she just too mm. sexy because you begin to see her as a woman and not just as a model, not just as someone wearing the garment. So, so I'm going problem with that. They have a so ladies, let, let me stop real quick and say some of the so people been talking. They want they want their voice to be heard. So let me make sure I let them be heard. Let's see. One second. One second, Doctor Wagner. Excuse me. Um, sexy has no size number. 
Um, guys want me smaller now, bigger, laugh they out loud. Sexy, they wanted big. her smaller. So at wanted one point, small. they wanted her small, but I think that's a trend. You put my glasses you know, on. That's a trend. At one time, they okay. wanted skinny women, and then yes. now they want bigger women. Right now, they all about the butts. So yeah, well, you know, um, is going up to the sky because everybody going to get a booty. Okay, so let's see. We got a couple of things here. I'm just gonna roll them. A mature, a mature man can handle a confident woman. That's when Alicia was talking about the confidence thing, being too confident at the beginning. Then we have another one. I just want to kind of fill in. All right. Um, hey, um, the same guy liked me bigger, but I have noticed things are different since I lost weight. But he says I'm I'm confident too much. That too, that too, that too many notice now. So whatever weight it is, I can be sexy, but when you change outer appearance, it can be too much for them. True. That's, That's true. true. You're the same and, person with the same um, charm, the same charisma, but sometimes they can't handle it. Right. And so, and she says she loves muscles. <laughs> I heard you, I heard you, Shannon Nicole. Um, blessings from Barry. Thank you, Barry. Thank Gail you, said Barry. people have, have, have preferences. preferences and like and what like they what like. like. Okay, yeah. I agree. Hey, I so Reese, which is true from podcasts, um, true podcasts, women body shame more than men. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Well, I, I'm not going to say that because that. I, would have to, I would have to do some type of research with that. I can't honestly per personally, that and of course you have to do research in order to get the accuracy, but in the, my opinion and my surroundings... I think we're more critical on ourselves, which sometimes turn to body shame on our, even ourselves. We got to well, be careful. That. He said that women body shame men. Men more. Yeah. He oh, said women. Oh, yeah. he said that they body he shame a man? Body shame right. Men yeah. Reese said women body, women shame. body oh, shame. Oh, no. no. I, I'm sorry, no. Reese. I misinterpret what you said. That is no, inaccurate no, from no. me. Yeah, Reese, we going to have to give you some homework. Thank you. <laughs> we, yeah, I, I don't agree with that. that. Men I thought hard. I thought he was saying that you know we body shame ourselves and each other more. No. Um. Let's see, what else we have here? We have another one. The first thing she said was men shouldn't body shame women and etc. But it's laughable when men say don't body shame me. Well, I don't, Reese. I don't think it's funny either way. I personally, I'm speaking to Dr. Nicole. It's not tolerated either way on my behalf. Mm -hmm. It should not be body sh body shaming towards men and no body shaming towards women. And and let me also say to our fellow women, stop body shaming each, each other. other. Um, that's, for any that's a problem. Yeah. Because we, you know, we spend a lot of time getting on the men, but I'm, I'm going to have to just get on us ladies right now because if anyone is following me on social media, I decided in 21, I was going to step out of my comfort zone and stop playing it safe, especially being a positive body image. Influencer, I want women to know whether you're in yoga pants, right. um, whether you're in Pilates gear, any type of workout, whether you're taking a pole class, a chair class, whether you're doing CrossFit, whether you're in lingerie, that if you are confident, authentically, understand me, ladies, authentically confident in yourself, it should not matter if other people subscribe to you. And I have to say that my criticism in the year here, 21, has come from women. And the other downside to that is it has come from other plus size women. I'm giving y'all yeah. the shame finger to stop doing yeah. that. Just because yeah. I'm okay with my tiger stretch marks because God made me as a warrior. That's why I have them. <laughs> come on now. So they are, they, they're being my... DM and they're like, um, sis, do you think you should have that on? And and I again, I used to get in my feelings, and I said, you know, you, like, you know what? This is a teaching and learning opportunities, and that is how I start approaching. I was like, you know, I want when people see me on the street, they can identify me that I'm not airbrushed, and I don't have two hours worth of makeup on. I want when I step on a runway or they see me in a magazine or on social media that I empower oh, them to the, point, like right, to the mm -hmm. point where they like, okay, I can wear lingerie, 
but dress for your body type. That that's the thing. There you go. There you dress go. For yeah. your, by a- lingerie, yeah. you you should not be six hundred pounds, and you're squeezing in two. And yeah, and I, something that's that goes twenty two. And work. and I'm in no way trying to make jokes. I just want us as women to start uplifting our fellow women and saying, hey, sis, you know, you're beautiful. Do they have that dress in a different size? And if it doesn't look on her, well, look right on her and she asks your opinion. I tell people, if you don't want the truth, don't ask me. Don't mm-hmm. ask me. Because mm-hmm. a true friend and someone that respects you, your existence, the essence of you, they're going to say that does not compliment you. They, We should be telling each other that. I make it a point to try and dress for my body type. I'll ask my mom. I will ask my bestie. And sometimes it do hurt because you'd be like, dang, I think I'm looking popping in this outfit. And But when those two people are like, mm, mm, take it off, I take it off. It's been times I've posted pictures and they're like, you know, that don't really compliment you. Won't you pull that picture? And I'll pull it. But it is always women that slide in my, my yeah. DM and yeah. get real critical of me. And it's plus size women. But you well. know what? But you know what, Dr. Wagner? Sometimes it's 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 really sad because it's almost I, I hate to say it, almost a jealousy thing sometimes. It's like we gotta be careful that we're supposed to be empowering and uplifting each other. And so you're right, come to me correct. You know, you can't just say, girl, take that up. You can't say, you know, you can't come to somebody like that. You can't. So it, it is important that we be careful that we're not on a jealous streak or that because you don't, you don't, you don't wear it that I shouldn't wear it. You know, mm-hmm. no, that's not, that's not the way it rolls. So I know I had somebody one time um, say something about, oh, you, you know, your cleavage is shown. Okay. I want it to sell. It's meant to be shown. Thank you though. <laughs> now, if it's a nipple out, then by all means, you better snatch me up because I'm not trying to show that. And you know me, if you know me well enough, you know I'm not trying to show nothing like that. But you understand what I'm saying? Some cleavage right. or whatever, it's meant to be shown. It's meant to be a, a sex appeal type of thing. It's the way I feel about myself and that's how I want to show my sex appeal a little bit. So it's okay to be sexy. And sexy does not have a size. But look, we have a couple of people still saying wait, stuff. Wait, so a we, we don't wanna, wait a minute. I think um, there is, to, you can be sexy at any size. That is correct. Your sex appeal is not physical. Some that is correct. Okay, Lee, Lee, hold up one second. Can you read Reese's? I, I got a lot. I want to try to fit some of it. Can you read them for me and then go back to what you were saying? I like Reese because he's engaging. No. I got a lot. Go like. Okay. Would either you, um, of you all date a short man? I have dated. Yes, I would, Reese. Um, and I have dated a short guy before. Okay. Have you? Um. Okay. I gotta put my glasses on. Hold on. Have you have to get to where oh, she got to go over? Bye. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it so much. We got a new person. All right. Yes. Dress for your body type. Yes. 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 Okay. And I need someone to pick me up. And strong. Oh, he's repeating what somebody oh, said. He's, he's trying to throw I that mean. back at y'all. Reese is coming for you, Lee, because you said that I did not. <laughs> I know, it was, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care because, see, I'm so secure in my spot. I like what I like. Look. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, look. All right. True. What, why are you coming for Lee? Why are you coming for my cousin? I'm Why not coming, coming for me. my cousin. I'm what coming for know? all three. All you three of y'all. Are Doctor you? included. How are you doing, Miss Wagner? I'm good. I'm How good. are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm coming for me. That was Lee that said that. That, that was you. I'm gonna correct you. <laughs> what I said was yes, I too want somebody to pick me up. I said, however, Sometimes. I have mm-hmm. found that skinny men can pick you up as well. So we should not be judging. See, you didn't hear everything. Women, women, body shame okay, men first, all the time. Listen, y'all like and share, like and share, like and share. Okay? Yes. Fact, she yes. didn't want to cut me off y'all because she know time. she was wrong. Women, body shame men all the time, especially <laughs> any man under six feet. It's a struggle. 
Now, now you true, you got you four all minutes. All. You got four minutes, true, and we, I'm cutting you off. So, Harry, you got you, to none, say it. Neither one of you all would date, or I'll say we'll give, we'll have to give it a lot of thought to date a man under 5'10". That's not true because I answered that question for someone. That's not true. Yeah, I, said, I, I said, yes, I have. And yes, I would because I've dated men. I prefer yeah. tall men because I'm short and I like to stand on my tippy toes. That's just my thing. However, I've mm -hmm. dated men that match my height and I'm only 5'2". I've even dated a guy that was slightly shorter oh, than you. are only 5'2", so it's hard to get somebody that's shorter than you. So, you know but. what? <laughs> I'm all right now. But let's go but you know what? in... Uh, you, you, I, 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 I really I, I, do. I, 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 go ahead. <laughs> okay, look, look, don't start no stuff on me, no stuff. I prefer th uh, certain, certain things as well. I'm a person, so I've had, I have a preference, but I'm not exclusive. Like, I, I don't, I'm not inclusive. Is that right? I'm not one to just say I have to have beyond a shadow of a doubt this. Right. Um, I've never been like that. I have dated a shorter person than me. I have gone on, um, I have, well, I've, I've, I've married a person taller than me, of course. And then someone my height, I have dated before too. So bigger than me, uh, smaller than me, thinner, like like Dr. Wagner said. I have one question for the doctor. Pretty big stocky guy that could pick me up and did pick me up. So um, I really don't have a, a, a stickler of saying I'm not going to deviate. But Lee was on a, on a on a track that I was liking her to go, but I didn't want her to go that quick. She was on a track. Lee, you were talking about something about it's not just the bad body appearance. What were you getting ready to say? Personality. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. People's mm -hmm. personality mean a lot. It takes you so far. Absolutely. It so far. Some people, it's just a turn off as soon as they open their mouth. OK, you cannot mm -hmm. hold a conversation with certain people because sometimes they just don't have it. But then there are people who are just charming. Some mm -hmm. people just, mm -hmm. just they, they just got it. You and know? you rightly you right. <laughs> just have it. You know, um, some mm -hmm. people um, there's a saying that said you can sell beef on a cart. You know, some people just got it. <laughs> You're right. Lee, you're 100 percent correct. Like it's things like um, I was looking at another article. I know I look at these articles and another is like ah. lifestyle says that uh, men are attracted to kissable lips, uh, a touchy back, uh, a, a, legs, a certain, baby, a certain voice, legs. a certain voice, high self-esteem, dress. They got dress as the top 10. How you dress. How you a present yourself. Men, a lot of men are attracted to the way women dress. And it's not always like I was talking saying before about those leggings. Okay, women think it seems like women it's not you see, always about what you can see, it's about what you can't see. A lot of is. men like a conservative dress women because they think it's sexy. Look, okay, Monique, need. Monique was getting on them girls already. Oh <laughs> I wanna know why women believe that. What? Why, why do y'all believe that that is that men like the way you dress? They like your lips. I'm, I'm just I mean, you basically you name everything what? about a woman and say that's what. Yeah, we like everything that you all have. We don't exclude anything. Everything matters to us. We anything can be sexy to us. It could be your personality. It could be your hairstyle. It could be whatever. Next week we may not like your hairstyle. It's just that's just how we're made. We're so, visual creatures. So for well, me, when and keeping with the topic, what is sexy, It we have to individually, men and women, take ownership and accountability for changing the channel, changing the channel on what we see, which is why we're here today having this discussion because it is a very needed discussion, number one, because it's not just a matter of body shaming. You have when people, men and women, do not feel authentically appreciated and accepted by society or someone they're in a relationship with, it leads to mental health disorders. It does. Um, people it does. commit suicide. So for people who are viewing it, yes, we're, we're pulling the fun pieces out of it, but we also want you all to really take a personal inventory and self-awareness of, are you guilty of some of these health risking things, whether it be to someone else or to yourself? That's the other it's thing. We have it's, that bullying. it's bullying. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we women have mm -hmm. a way, and I don't know, 
true if men do this so you'll have to speak to it but i know personally we as women have a way of mentally bullying ourselves and saying because i don't look like daphne or lee and i don't feel my jeans like that oh he's not not gonna want to dance with me or he's not gonna like me you have to again truly truly authentically accept yourself where you are especially if you have not made a conscious and committing decision to change whatever it is that you do that not you don't like yeah you that you, that, but you have to not like it not someone else you have like to it. not like it men right. do There's men have the same hang up have men have the same hang ups as women we also think we also think the same things we are individuals so our, all of our minds don't connect together the one thing that i will say that I think is true, and and I will ask the doctor. I believe that the women own the narrative on this entire situation. You all own this. You have the power over it. I we agree. Just move around as you see fit. It's not us making the decision. It's not us saying that the dress makes you uh, fat or it makes you think the dress makes you fat. You're thinking that. To us, it it doesn't really matter what you put on. We ready for you to take it off anyway. So that's <laughs> what we get with it. Oh, I, love, being I love your transparent. I'm going to agree with you 100% true because a lot of times what we as women assume that a man is thinking about us or anybody, they He's really not, ain't thinking yeah. about you. And even if they are thinking those negative and unhealthy thoughts about you, again, put the responsibility back on you. No one should have that kind of power over you to make you feel less than and and just like you're not enough whether you're a size four and it's crazy because you have some women i get a lot of women that are like in a size four maybe up to a size eight that are inbox me and they'll be like um how did you get your confidence like that um i want to yeah. be confident i won't even wear a two-piece bathing suit i mean and to me these are gorgeous women they're like you're wearing a two-piece and it's because I went through trial and error. I have not always been confident. I went through some crying, some a whole mm -hmm. lot of pain mm -hmm. to get here. But when you fight to find out who you truly, truly are, you're like, it's no going back from me. Mm -hmm. Once you find yes. tap into your power and you take mm -hmm. that, that too is sexy and all. And for women, and Lee, you naturally spoke I'm on it. You was kidding. like, sexiness is an internal thing. And yeah. we, we spent a lot of time talking about physical being of sexy, but sexy really is a mindset. I need my ladies to understand that, that if your mind has not bought into and subscribed to that, which you believe about yourself, that is gonna radiate to people. And a lot of men not wanting you to approach them or them not, not finding you desirable or attractive enough to approach you is not that you're not beautiful it's something about your energy that you're giving off so sometimes and that's the hardest thing to do is do the mirror concept and come face to face with what you need to change about you because it's, it's you true. pointing pointing facts at yourself it's true true, true. okay but right now there's a big thing things are very trendy there are mm -hmm. a lot of very trendy things that are going on, and it has caused a lot of our young women. Um, look at uh, what is the young lady's name? K. Michelle. K. Michelle went through a horrible thing where she, you know, it was very trendy. She blew herself up so big where she ruined her her body. Had now she tried to have it all removed, trying to get that big. Yeah. Body, okay. And yeah. she's going through some things now where she said that she had to really reevaluate and accept that she is who she is and I'm still cute. Right. You know, that I, I'm still yeah. sexy. You know, yeah. I, I'm still doing this thing. You know, and like you said, we are most detrimental to ourselves. Yeah, we are. We are True. most detrimental to ourselves. True. Do you have any last words to say? Because I um we have I, another I guest. You know. got your other person all ready to go? I I do want to ask the doctor if um how many women do you think grow up how much does the tall, dark, and handsome or the Prince Charming play into the body shaming of men on your best guess? Well, I don't want to guess on that, but I suspect that the number is large. I think that's an awesome question that you have. And there's this concept called the Cinderella concept. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And they talk a lot about this in psychology classes because as women, we at a very young age, well, 
probably like middle school or maybe high school, we subscribe to these fairy tale stories and we think that how tall, dark and handsome really has to meet what the visual aid that's been given to us. So society I, has dictated television, yes. you know, and the girl up the street next door, it's television. Yeah, so it- But I society sometimes, Lee, I'm sorry, Dr. Wagner, society sometimes and the world sometimes portrays one thing and says another. It says oh, they're very one contradictory thing. and, you know, but such is life. Life is very hypocritical and contradicting. You know, it, parents do it. You know, they tell their children, mm -hmm. do as I say, not as I do. And then you, mm -hmm. you as a kid, you look and you like, you really shouldn't be acting like that really? mom or dad. And we right. have to stop subscribing to channels that do not fit our belief and value system. Again, it's you're in control of it. Like True said, the power is yours. And it's going to be uncomfortable because that may very well mean that you have to be patient and wait for that right guy, the one to really embrace the true essence of you. But it'll be so worth it. I, You know, I think back on a lot of relationships that I allowed myself to be in just for the sake of being in a relationship because I had low self-esteem. I was not confident at all. And it was like some attention was better than no attention. But when did you, you believe that your that size mattered then? I did. Yes, Does I did. You have a size. So I, did you I, believe I, that? I, I did. I really believed mm -hmm. that to the point that I subscribed to all kind of diet phase, metabolite, um, the fin fin, you you name it, curves, everything. I was like, okay, I gotta fit. This third, this um pictorial image, I have to fall into this category, or I'm gonna be by myself for the rest of my life. I really, now, I really did. With you saying that, there are some people like myself. I don't care to be larger than a certain size, and when I passed that size, I didn't like what I saw. So I did the diet, the nutritionist. I did this and I did that. I I did what I needed to do. You know, because mm -hmm. that's not what I thought. You understand? It's not what I thought. So I wanted to be a certain size. And that's just how I felt. And I think a lot of women people fall into that, you know, where um, if you're not this size, it's not good enough. Yeah. Sure, and, sure. and that is what they do. And that's what they do. And that's part of the, the thing. It's like, why are we doing some of these things? Because our young girls are looking at us, okay? They're looking at us. So if we're doing some of these things of what's considered um, not non-confident, uh, body shaming almost, even though you don't call it body shaming, and if you're trying to change for the better because you need to just lose weight, period, because you know we're supposed to just not be, be healthy, so big, then you do it. Then you do it, right, to, to, to be more healthy, right, mm -hmm. to try to be more healthy. The thing is, um, where you are is you still have to embrace it while you're going. Exactly. While you're headed right. this way. Exactly. You have to embrace it and accept it and love it. Love you. Don't love down you. it. Don't yeah. down it. Because guess what? That's when sometimes we get to that mark of the, what we think small, we should be small, we should be smaller. We get there. And then what happens if we relapse? And, let's so just, and a lot of people fall into depressions. And yep. like she said, you know, like the doctor was saying, you know, that is, um, that's a sad road to go down because like yeah. there's suicide, you know, and there's people cutting and, and doing mm -hmm. all kinds of things to themselves because mm -hmm. they're not secure and they spy. And let me and just also, say, this, say this, I want to piggyback on something, a point, a very excellent point, Daphne, that you made as far as the losing weight thing. I am plus size, but I am a multi-certified fitness instructor and a personal trainer. So I am telling you firsthand that you can be a size four, six or eight, and you can spend hours in a gym. But if you do not have balance in the various realms of your life, it doesn't matter. And that is why my business name is called Three Star Purpose. Focus mm -hmm. on wellness, mind, body, and spirit. If you mm -hmm. look at some of these individuals that are in a cardiologist's office because they have all of these heart problems and you're like, man, but she doesn't have any body fat on her body. Let me tell you, internally, 
Her doctor and she have not, or he has not had an authentic conversation to find out what their blood count is and metabolically what is going on in their body. Someone will look at me and think that I am unhealthy. I know right. what my head work is. I am very healthy. So that's that's the other piece why I, I'm so on, honored that you ladies invited me to be your guest tonight because because I get to tie in all those pieces is that you right. can look good on the outside, but if internally you are yeah. unhappy, You're right. it doesn't matter because the body responds physiologically to stress. So that's right. You may work out, but if you're in an unhealthy marriage or unhealthy relationship, or maybe the job and life itself is stressing you out. Are you, how many of your viewers are aware that your body holds on to fat? Oh yeah, especially when you're stressed. It stores it, especially when you're stressing. When you're stressing, yeah. it holds it, on to it yeah. as if it's like for comfort. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. Holds on to it for and you, yeah, and you're right, Doctor Wagner. It, uh, you know, I don't ever want to justify being obese or overweight. You cannot justify something like that because the bottom line is, it it, it takes a toll on the body. Okay, it takes a toll on, on the, the body. Organs. However, yeah. Mm -hmm. However, it's not to say that, like you said, Dr. Wagner, that you're more healthy than me. I'm more healthy than you. Um, that that's not true. So it's proven that that's not necessarily true. Okay. And you're right. Exercise, eating right, balance, everything plays a big part because even at size two fifty or three hundred, if you have some balance and you're doing some exercising and you're trying to eat right and you're not drinking a bunch of alcohol and cigarette smoking and all this stuff, you could actually live to be a hundred. Or mm. beyond. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. mean, true. think think about some of the, the people that's like like Alicia and I have. Our grandmother is still my alive. She's one hundred two years old. I have my um, first lady of my church. Her father is one hundred and three year old. Around the same time frame of growing up, and they ate just as much pork as they wanted to eat growing up. That's all they had. Almost and chitlins. That's so. all they had. Okay. Okay. That's what they <laughs> gave them. That's all they had. So you know. It, it really, you know, sexy, getting back to the topic, you guys, and hopefully we didn't stray too much because we had to talk about the other things in order to get to this point. But sexy does not have a size. It doesn't have a size. True, would you agree with that? No. <laughs> no, no, I will not agree with that. Okay, <laughs> do not have there, is a limit. there is a limit. There's a limit for a true. There may not be a limit for okay, the so it's, Okay, it's so wait, 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 wait. When I'm saying that, that's what I'm about to say, Dr. Wagner. I'm saying, in general, for whomever, someone can see, like Lee said, 300 pound, 400 pound, 500 pound person, somebody sees it, sees that person sexy. They think it's sexy. 90 pounds, 100 pounds, 150, 250, 200. Do, they find that person sexy. So, men do, women don't. Tell, wait, 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 wait. So you're going to tell me that we're going to put a Wait, 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 wait. We're going to put a limit on sexy? No, wait. Listen to what he said. He said, Go men ahead. do, women Go ahead. don't. Go ahead, shoddy. Talk to me. See, you body shaming me, calling me shoddy. Shorty. <laughs> <laughs> but true, what did you say? Go ahead. You said men don't, women do. Right, men do not have that that gene that says. Uh, and what were you saying? It. I don't forgot what she said. Now. <laughs> then you can't even comment to a true. Moving on. Wait a minute, because uh, you know it's true. <laughs> women, women will not take a man that's 400, 500 some pounds. You're making a generalized statement, and you Wait. can't answer for everybody. True, you can't answer. You're that doing that the entire show. I'm just saying what y'all saying. Sure. I know that's, some men that are true. 300 and 350 and close to 400 and got a beautiful wife and just as happy as they want to be. That's what she tell you. tell you. There is a, a, a gentleman um, that I know, and he's tall, but he's he's overweight. Tall. And he's not the average. Um, what they consider that overweight yeah. person. Okay, mm -hmm. he's what you would consider. Oh my god, he's just a really big guy. He's like, oh my god, but he is so charming. He's mm -hmm. such a nice guy. I have said to myself, oh my god, I gotta find this man a wife. <laughs> oh my god, I need to find him somebody. I need to find him nobody. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> found him. 
Yeah. Well, I, I don't think the, I don't think it's we're talking issue. about guys, and that thing that's just is mm -hmm. that charming, just that nice. He's just a nice guy. You know. I don't think it's that that big of an issue for you, for men. I don't think it's that big of an issue for for either one, really, for men or women. I think women make it more than what it really is, and men feed off of it, and, and that's just what I think it is. Because I don't think that men we typically do not. It, it's it could be anything, like I said, anything could be attractive to us. You know what I like to hear? I love to hear heels in the office walking down the hallway. I find and that. See, that's what I'm saying. We're pushing the topic because we're saying the sexy have a size. Have a, size. a size meaning 12, 14. Yes, what I'm saying is not a personality, it but not a lips. I don't think it does. I don't so think it does. Be true, it doesn't, but realistically and, and preference. This, this is just real talk and not even so much the preference when we look at what's society going on in society today surrounding the issue of women being sexy mm. at any race any age any height any size the reality is and there's no sugar coating it yes there are limitations yeah, yes, it is. No, no one can dispute that. You know, if not, if nothing else made it very blatant when Lane Bryant pulled that lingerie ad just because people felt like they, they, they pulled woman. it based on society, though, Doctor Wagner. They pulled it because exactly. that's what someone and that's, pushed and them to that's, do. And that's my entire point. You know, we we can't keep tiptoeing around the reality of what we're dealing with in society. What we need to do now is it's not going to change overnight because it didn't start overnight. But what we can do is have these authentic dialogues and strategize, uplift, inspire, and empower other people so that they take account and be like, hey, I'm guilty of doing that and make a promise and a commitment to stop doing it because it's more than just body shaming. You, you are really, if a person is not strong enough and don't have a strong support system, they're allowing you, yes, but you're pushing them in a dark place. So yes, size does matter to some people for whatever the reason. And sexy does not have a size with male or female. And I'm personally telling people, if you're basing what's sexy off of physical body parts, you're going to block a lot of good experiences and blessings for yourself. That's number one. Number two, you're now putting unrealistic expectations on another oh. human being. Mm -hmm. And I say to women, one of the hard, I've been single for a very long time. Does it bother me from time to time? Yes, even though I still have stuff going on in my life. But at the expense, I remind myself, if I settle and forget for one second, how hard I fought to find this beautiful lady right here, I will find myself back in another dead and bottomless relationship. So now I'm in this relationship, but I'm still single because the person is not really attracted to me. You have to own your preference and accept that you made a conscious decision that this is your preference of what is considered to be sexy for you, male or female. And if you're making a decision that, I'm good enough for anybody, then at that point, you are making a conscious decision for yourself that I'm going to wait for that person who energy I match with and I'm in sync with, whereas though this ain't even an issue because we just vibing so amazingly that you just know that you're connecting with that person. Well, some, some kind of way things have to change because my I, I encounter a lot, like you said, Dr. Wagner, with the modeling aspect of the um, curvy or the plus size models. And if you do not have certain attributes of portraying for their clothes, they're not putting you in it. Now, I will say Tori is mm -hmm. good to put all sizes in their clothes. Um, mm -hmm. Eloquy is good to put all sizes in their clothes. Isn't Tori a plus size say, yeah, those was plus size. Stories. I hang out like and, around. And the it's, front. A, it's a company. It's a company. Um, <laughs> a, a organization called Big Man Culture. Big Man Culture. They specialize on the big tall man. There's, and so yeah, and there's another the thing one is, that's the um king size. King size. Okay. King size. Extra. So we got we need more of those. We need more people to support those. <clears throat> because this these certain, you know, the same stickler of 12s and 14s putting on clothes and I'm a let's say I'm a I'm a 36, that's not gonna fly for me. I, I don't know what that looks like. And you go up to a 36. No, it's not gonna work for me. 
So if I wear size 16, I want to know what the size 16 looks like. So sometimes I feel like the the industry, the society, the, the clothing lines, the, um, they need to expand, expand. I'm not saying everybody. They don't but want to. Want, huh? They don't want to. And Gail a little says that society uh, and the media brainwashes the public to believe that only certain size and looks is sexy. And that's understandable. I agree, Gail. I, I was thinking that the and entire we gotta, time. That we what kind of way we got to put a stop to it? We it's not what we out. think, because that's not even the real, the average woman. That what they yeah. show us. That's the not the average, average woman. woman. Like I said, the average woman is not the straight line model that they yeah. just want to show off the clothes. And the reason why I believe that they pull plus size models, why, well, the reason why they pull those ads is because they feel as though they're too sexy. Because they feel as though it's selling. That's it. Sexy. That is it. Lee. Not because. Um, well, it does have to do with their size because the more curvy you are, the more meat you have on your bones, you are you take away from voluptuous, you take mm -hmm. away from the garment itself. Okay. Right. So now you're selling you're right. yourself and you are and you're becoming popular. <laughs> you're about to check out Instagram. Instagram. So that has oh my gosh. To do with it. You know, but <laughs> So saying, does sexy have a size? I believe that yes, sexy does have a size, okay? It is whatever size you are and you, like you think you yeah. are sexy. Yeah, you're confident in your skin. Tell, this yeah, child you're confident in your skin. That I'm yeah. not sexy. It's as right. long as I can carry you out the house in the fire, we good. Baby, you if you're confident <laughs> in yourself, you you're sexy. You have, you have, you're I'm sexy. It's a definite. It ain't gotta be a fire, but it ain't. I just want to get from here to the bedroom, okay? I just want to get from the bedroom <laughs> to the living room. What is she talking about? <laughs> okay, just trust. so. But you know, a, a lot of Instagram. I, I heard a lot of um, Dr. Raven Lee and True. A lot of um, flack about they're pulling the plus size models doing. You know that all of this and all that. Those dances. Yeah. They're pulling theirs, banning them, banning their uh, their accounts. Because why? You see more on a regular Facebook and, and, and Instagram from a smaller size person. You see more visual stuff that you shouldn't see, but you're just doing a dance in a bathing suit and you're a plus size woman or you're you a perfect woman. And here comes the problem. You know why? Something has to stop. Something. We got to do something. Why? Something that's race based. The reason is, is because while the little thin girl is moving around, ain't nothing moving with her. Okay, you have <laughs> sister, and things are moving. So now we borderline, you know. Hey, Thank you, Jesus. It, it's yeah. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're doing a light porn here now because things are moving around. And don't be mad at me because I got what I got. Right. I was look. I don't woke up like this. But look, uh, we got. We've been on for an hour. We've I'm been here a long time. Okay. One minute each to sum up something you want to share before we go. One minute, one minute. Dr. Wagner, you want to start? I just want to encourage men and women to become the proprietor of your own body type. And by proprietor, own your body and stop renting it out to other people to mm -hmm. sculpt you. You are the Picasso of you. Amen. Amen. True. Thank you, Dr. Wagner. Thank you. True? I would just say that I love all body types. Of women, <laughs> help us. Show me what you got. Let me figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. <laughs> Tell me what you're working with. <laughs> Lee, <laughs> I just would say, you know, you have to love you first. If you don't love you, nobody else is. Mm -hmm. If you don't think well of you and good of you, nobody else is. Just love you. When you love you, everybody else. It won't matter if anybody else does. And sometimes that is difficult um, to do on occasional days because if we really are real with ourselves, we have this self-love, but sometimes we doubt because we're human. And when you have those doubts you, doubts, you have to shake that some kind of way. And sometimes you can't always shake it by yourself. Call on somebody. Call on that love circle that you have, that family circle. Your support the family. That's yeah, right. the support system. Men because don't have that know, option. You know, we wave. I, we have waivers in our head and things change. So just make sure that we don't stay down. Like Lee and Dr. Wagner says, that can lead to stress, depression, and suicide. And we don't want that at all. So you need to pick me up. You can DM me. I'll pick you up. Listen. Link up with one of, listen, they need, I hope whoever is listening, share, like and share this video, yes. not just because we're yes. asking, but because we gave 
a lot of jewels and nuggets of wisdom. And yes. also because you have a male right here that was the voice of other men. I wish right. more men participated in this discussion, but link up with us on Facebook. If you, you mm -hmm. have three female mm -hmm. positive influences here, you now have a male here. Absolutely. It's no reason we're four people, but it's got to, the, the work has to start somewhere. So and we're here to help. We're helping hands. We're servants. Men we're will never go to another man and say, I don't feel good. I don't, I'm not feeling Listen. right because they, I think Listen. she believes I'm short. This is not going to happen. But then you have to change. You have to change the the conversation change topic. Your resources to change, change in it. Change, yes. That there yeah. are men that have gone to other places. Go on to other men. Um, some best friends may have, but they're not just going. I mean, counselors. Just you know, just and a lot of men don't want to go to counseling either, Dad. Mm. It's admitting that something is wrong. Something's wrong. Anytime we admit something is wrong, it's not cool. We can't. We can't but admit that. Listen, well, I don't want to get on another topic because we'll end up here for another 10, 20 minutes. But Dr. Wagner, can you please um, share it? And when you share on your page, put your information um, yes. in the group chat so everybody can know where to reach you. Because, you know, you have a wide range of uh, knowledge and, and we, somebody might just need your help. They might just yes. need your help, whether it be fitness, <laughs> modeling, or your ability to just, just help them the steer in the direction of confidence and so forth. Lee, Absolutely. Lee, you already know how to reach Lee. You already know how to reach you, but True put yours in there as well, and you know how to reach the Kirby jersey because I will Listen. pick you. Up. <laughs> so all right, guys. Great. Thank you all for joining us this week. Thank you for and having me. Thank you, ladies. Does thank you. Thank you. Size. Great meeting you, doctor. <laughs> like and share. Your cousins for life. Love y'all. Stay around, Dr. Um, Wagner. Don't leave. Okay. Take it easy, everybody. Bye, everybody. Have a great week.